Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3 of this milestone 6, it's going to be a quick video. So here in what we have right now is we can search a photo, we can have the ID, the caption, that's perfect, this is what we need. But the thing is, we cannot have tag. What I would like to have is having like the tag and can able to show the name. So this way in the front end, we can show the tag with the hashtag at the be below the, of the photo. So this is going to be a quick fix, okay? So if we jump back in the project, remember how we start, we go in the lib, we go inside the Instagram web, and we go in the schema. Inside that, we're going to add a new uh, query. What that's going to be, uh, not a new query, sorry. Uh, we're going to go in the post type, sorry. So schema post type. Inside the photo here, we're going to add the uh, tags field. This thing is going to be a non-null list of tag. So finally, we just say for sure, at least you're going to receive an empty array if we have no tag. And that's going to be a list of the tag object we have right there. And all we can do this association, if we go inside the photo, inside the photo schema, we have the many to many and the tag. So by default, Ecto gonna understand the association just by providing this key here, so the tag. So if we do result as so, and we put tags just like that. If we go to the screen and just refresh, so command R, now you see the tag is not red anymore and now I can search. Now you see the photo right there, now we have the tag. So this photo have two tags, same for this summer, blah, 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 and now we have this kind of stuff. So if we search just for one photo, easier to see. We get two tag summer 2002 and uh, winter 96. And if we look inside uh, the photo, so that was 16. If we look photo 16, we have one, two, five, and six. Five and six gave us this thing. Also, if you use Postico, one thing you can do is you see uh, here we have the five and six tag. You can just click here and that's gonna show you what is the name, like that. And the same for this, here we can get the photo. I think it's pretty nice. Perfect. Now one thing is, I would like to, at least to be able to search all tag, uh, to get all the tag to show to a screen. So example, uh, I don't know, like we're gonna have the explore uh, page and we want to show like the top tag at the top. So this is what we're gonna want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in the schema, add a description. I like description, so get list of tag. It's gonna be a field tags list of uh, I can also say no new sorry about this list of not null tag do and now here we're gonna have no argument but we're gonna resolve to resolver uh, post dot get tag. So you see, just getting the name like it looks the other one, like get command and thing like this. <clears throat> so here, if we go there, you can say uh, get tags. We have two arguments, but we don't use it. And we're going to return a tuple with OK, pose that get tag. And now we can jump on this pose, get tag, go below, and do get tags and here that's going to be we pull that out and we pass the tag struck so now if we go back here and we refresh the screen so you can click here or comment r for me now here we can search for name and now we have a list of all the tag was <laughs> simple i told you that was that's going to be a really simple video it just i don't want to jump back between front end and back end always so uh, so in the next video, that's going to be more the front end. So the next video, what we want to do is in the screen where we create the photo, we want to be able to show another screen with a search feature. And when the user can just search the tag you want to add and put that there. And if the tag is not there, the user, we're going to create the tag finally. So I hope you enjoyed this one little video. And we're going to talk in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.